Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. As you can see, this is not my typical video where I'm in my garage. We are at Off-Road Warehouse here in San Diego. So many of you guys ask me when you get new suspension setups, when you get new light bars, where can I get it installed or where can I get my alignment done? Well, in today's video, you're going to be able to get a detailed look into some of the services that Offro Warehouse offers. Also, I'm gonna be walking around the store with the store manager, Jake, and we're gonna be looking for some products for my Tacoma. I'm basically gonna be like a kid in the candy shop back there. Look, wait, my feet like come on the ground. <laughs> And lastly, the topic that I'm sure most of you guys are interested in, I have some new wheels and tires that we're going to be putting on my Tacoma. Specifically, we're going to see how 28570 R17 BF Goodrich tires and method 706 wheels fit and look on my Tacoma compared to my current 26570 R17 setup. I don't want you guys to get too, too excited because this specific wheel and tire setup is going to be for my Land Cruiser actually. But since I have my Toyota Tacoma today, I thought it would be fun for you guys to watch them put them on my truck. Even though I do have a little bit of a lift because of my Fox Performance Elite shocks, I wanna show you guys whether they rub, what we had to do to get these to fit on my truck. I think there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff if you like anything Toyota Tacoma, off-road and modding so let's get into it and obviously before i get started i wanted to give a really sincere big thanks to off-road warehouse for this video collaboration especially jake for helping out with every little thing and letting me film and derek the tech who came in on his day off i'm not just saying this you guys but everyone at off-road warehouse puts a lot of care and they do great work as you'll see in this video and i do highly recommend this place as somewhere you can take your truck if you need to get some work done they offer a lot of services for us truck owners we do anything from oil changes tire rotations alignments all the way up to full suspension rebuilds uh, differential re-gears uh, you name it, anything pretty much other than motor work or transmission work will handle. Wow, you guys do a lot. So if I wanted to get something installed done or get my truck aligned, how can I go and set up an appointment with you guys? You give us a call here at the store or any off-road warehouse location. Um, we would put you on the first available spot in our schedule. You can follow us at ORW underscore San Diego on Instagram. Our store is located 5555 Kearney Villa Road in San Diego. Um, our phone number is 858-565-7792. Uh, any way you can contact us, you can message us on Instagram, uh, give us a phone call, just come to the store. Whatever works best for you, whatever's more convenient, we'll get you taken care of. Now, before I show you guys the mounting and balancing and how my truck looks with these new 285s, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the exact wheel and tire setup I went with. Okay, so I do want to give you guys just like a couple of quick details about this specific wheel and tire setup and kind of why I chose it. So this is Method 706 wheel. Specifically, it's 17 inches in diameter and it's got a zero offset. I have been eyeing these ever since they came out, I think like about a year ago because I really like the Method 312 style, but I've always wanted that style in B-Grip, which is exactly pretty much what these are. B-Grip is basically just methods patented technology that engages the beam for a stronger hold so you can air down to really low pressures these come in both bronze and black i picked the black color it's definitely like a matte finish but it's got a little bit of a shine to it so i don't think they're going to be too too hard to clean they're kind of similar to my existing trd pro wheels with like the six spoked pattern but they're unique and they stand out without being too too flashy or anything in my opinion now, of course, we've got these method wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich KO2s in the size 285-70R17, a bigger step up from my 265 setup. The KO2 is just one of my favorite all-time tires because of their adaptations for both on and off-road situations. 
Now I'm sure most of you guys who watch my channel are also Tacoma owners as well. And the topic of 285 size tires is just a really big one in our community because yes, while they're not like giant tires or anything, they are a pretty big step up from the stock tire size. And fitting them can be not too, too bad. Sometimes a little bit challenging, but definitely doable. As you'll see, there were some minor things we had to do to get these to fit. But the zero offset on the method wheels does help prevent rubbing on turns compared to a wheel that gives you a negative offset, which is one of the reasons I went with these methods in the first place. Okay, now let's actually go behind the scenes and watch Off-Road Warehouse mount and balance these wheels and tires. Now, mounting and balancing wheels is a pretty simple and fast process, although again, because we were dealing with larger tires here, there was a little bit of extra work to get them to fit. Also, after they noticed my drums had some surface rust buildup, they painted them for me, which was really nice. Now, this was one of the first times I saw mounting and balancing actually happening in person, so I'm no expert, but to mount the tires, he basically just lubricates the tire bead and then puts the tire at an angle and mounts the upper and lower bead using the machine. And then he seats the bead, which is what these popping sounds are. Then he balances them using this wheel balancer, which I believe just checks for deviations so that weights can be added. Now that the wheels and tires are balanced, Derek installed them on my truck. And for the front, you can see that the mud flaps did come off. Now this was a recommendation by Off-Road Warehouse even before we got started since even though I have Fox shocks that allow for adjusting to get more lift, I wasn't looking to get a higher ride up in the front today, which obviously would have helped with fitment. But again, this is a temporary setup. I probably would have done that if I was running this full time. But anyways, guys, after I initially saw these wheels on my truck, I was kind of in love and considered keeping them on my Tacoma. I'm trying to think about what to do now, because I really like the tyranny wheels too. Derek torqued my lug nuts and then even with the mud flaps on, there was still a little contact here in the back. Maybe thinking these would fit with such a minor lift was some wishful thinking, but since I didn't want to add any more preload on my front shocks, Off-Road Warehouse's suggestion was to do some minor cutting, so I had Derek cut the plastic that rubbed on the front and back side. I will say though, the amount of cutting is very, very minor and he did a really clean job. I almost can't notice it. When he was done, he took my truck for a test drive to make sure there was no rubbing after the trim 
And in the meantime, I got to walk around the store with Jake. And there were some cool finds for sure. This is what I needed for my maintenance and diff oil change video. It's a big deck. I know. <gasps> this one's cute. It's like for the Ford Maverick. My first stop was the off-road lighting section where I was particularly looking at some Baja Designs LP6s. I want to put like two on my Land Cruiser. Oh, I have to get a bumper first, but I want to put two on them. And I was thinking about LP9s, but I think that's going to be like way too much. No way, go for it. <laughs> Are these like the little rock lights? Yeah. This one is a cargo light actually. Oh, it's a cargo yeah. light? Oh, whoa, yeah. <laughs> that was great. A, a daily Jeez. basis, somebody will come up and, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they're too good, they're too good. I'm not exaggerating with how bright these were. What's your most popular method wheel? Is it 305? Probably a 305, uh, 703. Yeah, 703. Um, it's probably honestly the most two popular ones. Yeah, this is like the 312 is the style of the 706s we yeah. just installed today. So these are the upper control arms. Well, same brand upper control arms I have mm -hmm. on my truck. Yeah, Elevate brand's a fairly new brand. There's this model, it's the ball joint model. It comes with serviceless bushings. Um, they have a lifetime warranty, no need for grease, no squeaks, nothing like that. Um, the ball joint is a heavy duty move ball joint actually. So if it were to ever wear out in years to come, you can easily replace it at any auto parts store. The next step up from this is the same tube chromoly upper control arm with the same bushing, but it has a uniball with a uh, stainless steel pin in it. And then the next step up from that, it's a built aluminum Elevate control arm. It's fully adjustable with uh, FK Heim joints on the end, uniball, and a nice looking cap as well. That I think was the hardest install. Really? <laughs> because with the Tacoma, you have Getting to bend it, out. get the bolt out. like. Yeah. So people cut the bolt and put a new bolt back, but if you cut it, you still have to finagle your way through. Right. Yeah, a lot of so. people will cut it, take it out, and then put the new bolt in back the other way. Oh, that's right, they put it in backwards, yeah. yeah. That was a very difficult install. I felt like crying that day. You guys do a lot of uh, shocks and shock installs and suspension stuff, and got a wide array of, of products here. Yes, we do. Uh, we carry all lines from Fox, uh, King, Icon, Bilstein, those are the four most popular ones. After we were done walking around the store, my Tacoma was ready and this is really when I got a good first look at everything. And to say I was in love was an understatement. These are the befores and afters and at least on just the looks alone in my own opinion, there is a big difference. The Method 706s give the Tacoma a good stance and go well with everything else on my truck. And the new tires definitely fill out the wheel well a lot more. Okay, but now for the big question and what I've been holding off on, does this setup rub? So the new wheels and tires are now on my Tacoma. I am in love with how they look. I'm really excited to drive it. Obviously in my hand right now, I've got one of the front mud flaps that had to get removed. And we did have to cut a little bit, which I actually wasn't expecting. I thought my lift was high enough, but once they took off the mud flaps and cut just a little amount off without modifying my suspension at all, these tires fit without rubbing now. So let's turn on my truck. And I'll show you guys the tires turning and how much clearance they have. Which I realize is really hard to see on the side closest to the back in this shot, but there was plenty of clearance up in the front. That was no issue. And here's a little bit of a better shot in the back for the passenger side. You can see there's like a razor thin amount of clearance. But looking back at this footage, I'm actually surprised to see it this close because driving on these for a week now, I don't feel any rubbing, but I'll make a separate video more about the driving experience and how it felt stepping up in tire size soon. Either way, close or not close, Offro Warehouse did an awesome job making my wishes come true, doing the minimal amount of things to get them to fit. 
So I really appreciate how when I took my wheels and tires in here, you gave me the full picture of what I could expect. You know, fitting 285s is not the most straightforward thing on these Tacomas <laughs> all the time. It can be tricky and maybe every single Tacoma is not the same depending on their setup. So I really like how you guys, you know, gave me a preview of what I could expect. We'd have to remove the mud flaps, do a little bit of cutting potentially. I think that was awesome that you guys did that because that's not what a lot of other places offer. So. Yeah, not a problem. We try to keep the customer informed and what they're getting into before we do anything. Thanks so much again to Off-Road Warehouse and especially the San Diego location for making this video collaboration possible. Well, Jake, thank you so much for getting me set up, getting my truck set up. I will definitely be back cool. for the next big project on my truck and I really appreciated coming here today. Not a problem. Thank you. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will stay tuned for more content about these wheels and tires. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.